In this video, we're going to take a look at two legal problems, subsets 1 and subsets 2. So for subsets 1, uh, we're given an integer nums of unique elements. Return all possible subsets. So in this case, um, the solution must not contain any duplicate subsets and return the solution in any order. Now, here you can see we have an example 1, 2, 3, right? So the output um, are all the um, subsets that we have. Right, all the subsets, and you notice that the empty subset is also count as well. So in this case, um, we can have one, we can have two, we can have one, two, we can also have three, one, three, two, three, and one, two, three, right? So in this case, we notice that the order must follow the same, right? We cannot have three, one. Um, in this case, these are all subsets of this, and the order must stay the same. If two, if, if two happens before three, then the subset must be 2, 3 instead of 3, 2, right? So the order matters, but it doesn't matter how you like add them in the list, but the order in the list, the order in the subset matters, right? Must follow the given input. And if we have only one element, in this case, we must have an empty and also the current element as well, right? So we're given a unique element, so we're not going to have 1, 2, 2 or duplicate elements. So let's take a look at how we can solve this problem. So to solve this problem is pretty easy. We have to do this using Defra search uh, backtracking. We uh, we first draw the recurrent tree out, and we notice that uh, for each and every single uh, for the first element, I should say, we can have one as the first element, or we can have two as the first element, or we can have three as the first element. And then basically, this question is very similar to the combination, the permutation problem that we did before. So basically, we can have uh, for each and every single um, decision that we make, right, we're just going to add the current combination onto the um, onto the result list, right? This is our result list. We're just going to add the current combination so far onto the onto the list as we um, doing this step search, right? Because we want to capture all the subsets, all the possible subsets, but we don't want any duplicates. But let's focus on how we can capture all those subsets first, right? First is that what we're going to make one as the first element in the um, in the in the subset, right? In this case, we have one. Then we're going to add it onto the list. Then we have two decisions because we cannot have duplicate values, right? We cannot have duplicate subsets. In this case, we're not going to include one as an option. So now our decision went from a three to two, right? So we have two decisions, right? And then in this case, we can go down this path we add two onto our subset now we have one two and then we add this onto our um, onto our, our result list then we go down um, for the another decision that we have because now we have if we done one and two now the decision that we have left is three so we continue to go deeper we say okay let's say we add three onto the um, the subset and then we have one two three then we add this onto the um, um, the result list. Then what we do is we backtrack, right? We say, okay, well, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack to this level. Do we exhaust all the options? Yes, we did. Then we just come in, coming back to one, go down with all the options. Now we have three, right? So we can go down with three. So now we can have one, three. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is I just, just got to circle this. And, and that basically means that we add, already add this onto our result list, right? So here you can see we have one, three. So we go do a deferred search into this path going down this path and we have one and three right so we capture this and then we just add it onto our result list and then in this case we can we, we have to um, iterate our options to see if we exhaust all the options in this case we did right three is the last element um, in this case so in this case we're just going to backtrack and now we exhaust all the options for one for the first element then we can backtrack again and then we try with two so for the two path Right. In this case, we have we can add two as the first element, and then we're just going to add this onto our result list. Okay, and then we just going to uh, try with all the options that we have. In this case, is going to be three. Right. So in this case, we already done two. And if, like I said earlier in the previous video, let's say if we were to include one here, in this case, we can have an option. We can have a combination of two one. Right. Two must comes after after one. So then you can see here we have three. So we can have three, uh, two, three, right? We can add two, three onto, three onto the subset. 
And then we know that this is one subset, so we can just add it onto the uh, result list. So then we exhaust all the options. We're coming back from two, uh, back to two. And then we know that we exhaust all of the options for two as the first element. And then we're just coming back to the root. And then we're going to go down to the, um, uh, the, the next path, right? In this case, three. Then we have at three as the first element. And then we're just going to add this onto result list. And then there's no more decisions that we have to make. Then we backtrack and our job is done, right? So pretty simple. Let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So to do this in code, I'm just going to create a global variable. Result is equal to new link list. That will store all the result, um, basically all the subsets, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're also going to make this array into a global variable as well. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to do a depth of search. We're going to have a current combination. So the current combination is empty. And then we're also going to add the current starting point, in this case, index 0. So after we're done with our depth of search, we're just going to return a result list. Now let's have our combination. Or I should say subset, right? So let's have subset and the current index. Now, what's going to happen is we're just going to start adding. We should add the current um, the current subset onto the result list because in this case we're um, to start. In this case, where we need to add the empty list, right? In this case, the empty subset onto the result list. So result list add subset right we're adding the current subset onto the result list then we're just starting iterating right iterating starting from the current index okay because we cannot allow it to have duplicate values right so we're starting from the current element and then uh, for each iteration we're going down a we're going a depth search going down the path to exhaust all the options and then backtrack and then try to exhaust all the options and then so on right so uh, we're going to have array dot length, and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to add the current element. So in this case, it's going to be array at i, right? We're adding the current element onto the subset. Then we're going to create this depth search method. We're going to pass down this um, the current subset as well as the current index plus one. And the reason why we do that again. Is that we don't want any duplicate values right so in this case we already add this element onto the subset we don't want to add this element again so now after we've done that we're just going to remove the last element that we added subset that remove uh, that length or i should say size minus one so let's try to run the code uh, the reason why we do that uh, is because we have to we have to uh, create a new instance of that list, right? Create a new instance of array list and add the subs of the subset onto the the, um, the array list and add the list onto the result list. Okay, so let's try with a few more examples. All right, so let's try to submit. Okay, so here you can see we have our answer. So this is how we solve the um, subset one problem. So the time complexity in this case for this code is going to be exponential. We're trying to generate all the uh, possible subsets for the current subset and add, a, add them onto the list, right? So in this case, it's going to be exponential for the time complexity as well as the space complexity. So let's take a look at another example, uh, or I should say another question, subsets two. So we're asked to return all the possible um, subsets, right? So in this case, uh, you can see we have one, two, two, right? We're not allowed to have one, two twice. And you can see that these are all unique uh, unique subsets. So in this case, um, let's take a look at how we can solve this, right? So it's very similar to the subset one. And basically what we're gonna do is that we're just going to first sort the array. And we did that, we did, we did a similar question um, we did a similar approach in the combination pro uh, video that I did before. Um, basically, 
what we're trying to do is we're trying to sort the array and then we're just going to take the first element that appeared right and then if that element appeared again like for example if num set i is equal to num set um nums at i minus one then we can just continue right if the current element is equal to the previous element then we can just continue to move on to the next element right so basically means that we're going to take the first element so let's say we're given this um uh, let's say we're given this example one two two in this case we can have one right we can have two but we cannot have um this element here right because this element because we already exhaust all the option for two so let me give you an example here so here you can see we have one right we can have one as the first element then two as the second element and, and two as the third element that's for each and every single um, level of course we're going to just going to add it onto the list but in this case if we were to go down this path you can see that we have duplicate com uh, duplicate subsets right so we have one two two right so in this case we do not have to take the second element right we just have to take always take the first element in this case two then here you can see we have another two here because in this case we have two twos right so in this case we don't have to take the second element we just take the first element so again this is the this is the rule right so if the current element is equal to the previous element then we can just continue and move on to the next decision that we have to make right or the next path that we have to take so now we backtrack we're coming back to this element right here we say that okay this is two right two um in this case we're going to add this element onto the list then we have this element right here so in this case we add two onto the second element and then add it onto the list but for the second element we cannot do that because we're going to have a duplicate um subset so in this case we're just going to backtrack and then we're just going to explore a different path right so it's pretty easy i'm just going to copy the code that we did here and then all we're trying to do all we're trying to modify here is um the name so let's take paste it here and the goal what we're going to do is we're just going to first sort the array right so arrays dot sort so we're going to just going to sort the array in ascending order okay then what we're going to do is if the current element so um if array at i right is equal to array at i minus one then we can just continue but the thing is that we had to watch out for is that we want to make sure i does not equal to current index right because there could be a situation where the current index or I should say the current i is equal to zero, right? We don't want to compare with something that's out of bound. And we also don't want to compare with something that's um, that's already compared with, right? So in this case, we just do a check like this. And then let's try to run it. Okay, let's try with, um, let's try with a non-duplicate value. So two and five, for example. Okay, let's try to submit okay so here you can see we have our success so this is how we solve the subsets 2 problem now before i end this video if you want more backtracking practice um, detailed explanations on backtrackings on lead code um, and how to get good at it i do have a playlist on my channel called lead code backtracking where i do a lot of um, dfs backtracking problems on lead code and, um, and by the time you watch this video, I probably have more videos on this playlist and uh, hopefully uh, you will get more practice on uh, through this playlist and you will get good at it.